What did you think were the hardest things to teach in Rust? Strings. So I was convinced that I don't want to teach strings after numbers. Normally, you see a programming language tutorial and they introduce numbers first because they're easy addition and so forth. We have a little sure. toy calculator. And then the next thing we do is text. It turns out within Rust, A, you need a distinction between like a string literal is a different type than a string, right. which is kind of yep. super weird. <laughs> like if you had a Rust REPL and you put a string literal into it, you type it, hello world in quotes, it's not going to come back and say, oh, this is a string. Nope. <laughs> that, that's right. There are sound technical reasons why this is the case. Essentially, oh, yeah, it, absolutely. it bubbles up a lot of the implementation details about how programming languages and how programs are built into the programming language because Rust always wants to offer you the choice to boil away the abstraction and go right to the depth of what's actually happening. To pull this back to a string literal, your right. string literal lives in a different place than most other strings. It turns out that they can kind of be unified through a reference to some array. Let's use that term, like some list of characters Basically. of bytes that happen to be encoded as UTF-8, which is this encoding for uh, uh, translating numbers to what we would say is a, like a writing script. So we've got like four or five different forms of translation happening. And like yeah. this really sucks up people's working memory when they're learning something new. 